Hello, welcome to Telecom TV. We are at Cloud Native Telco 2019 here in London, and I am talking with Peter Wendler, who is Senior Expert NFV Architecture and Solutions at Ericsson. Peter, thanks for talking to us. Good to see you. Do you think CSPs can use cloud native technologies as they are for the next phase of network transformation, or do they need adapting to new standards and or new specifications? So there's a broad spectrum of cloud native technologies out there and I would say a huge amount of them are actually valid for use in the telco industry but we see certain projects and activities where work has to be done and new standards have to be established also to harmonize a bit the space we see out there. Peter, your senior expert NFV architecture and solutions at Ericsson, I think you must agree that NFV is taking rather longer and costing rather more than was originally anticipated and we've all watched it over the past eight years. How do we avoid rerunning the same scenario with cloud native? I think first of all we need to apply the learnings we had from the NFE transformation we made over the last couple of years and there were certainly hard learnings as well. Um, but I think in cloud native we've seen a lot of trends um, trying to push complexity down to the lower level systems which can help us significantly to ease the introduction of cloud native technologies in telco networks. So I experience or my experience would be that it will not take as long as we had it for an NFE transformation. So Peter, how do you convince the board or a board of directors that cloud native is the way forward for CSPs? I think it very much has to do with addressing new challenges coming up with uh, 5G. Particularly the flexibility is very well addressed by cloud native technologies. The flexibility to address enterprise segments, to address new um, quick characteristics in the telecom network with these technologies. How engaged are you within Ericsson with cloud native technologies? So first of all we're developing all our products meanwhile alongside cloud native design principles and I'm personally engaged with setting up our design principles both for the infrastructure as well as for the applications and the management and orchestration systems to adhere to cloud native design principles. As well Ericsson is engaged in a lot of industry forums to bring also the cloud native ecosystem as well as the standards alongside with the cloud native design principles. Are they disruptive to your existing business models within Ericsson or complementary to it? I think cloud native technologies and the whole cloud native movement is very much complementary to our existing portfolio. Um, we of course change our applications, we design them from, from scratch, but I think the experience we've made with our portfolio will go also in, into this. What, in your opinion, generally, is the level of cloud native technology knowledge and awareness that you see from your telco customers? I think they're all building up knowledge. We see typically that they take one particular aspect of like the four major areas in cloud native, which they are quite strong in. So we typically see application design, the infrastructure, management and orchestration, as well as ways of working. And when we talk to, cluster, to customers, they typically select or have good knowledge in some of these areas. And we're trying to help them to build that holistic view on cloud native. How important, Peter, do you think cloud native is for telcos? I think for telcos it's crucial to address cloud native and to introduce the technologies coming with cloud native. Um, mainly to address the needs in 5G um, or the upcoming needs in 5G when it comes to flexibility, scale and capacity. We have a lot of technologies and concepts in cloud native which will help us to address those needs. That is container technology for capacity reasons, that is um, the easy deployment and lifecycle management of network services and network slices using cloud native technology. So overall, I think it's crucial to have a holistic view on cloud native technologies in terms of technology, application design, as well as, way, as, well as ways of working to actually introduce and make use of these technologies. Do you think telcos have that now or is that a learning process? It's certainly a learning process. Most of the telcos have grown a lot and have very specific demands, learning from NFV what should be better and what can be more efficient and where can they have better services. These learnings we're bringing in from our side as well into the new products, into the new ways of working, into the new management systems. So I think there is good knowledge, um, but there's certainly a learning process on all sides to bring that holistic view. Peter Verdler, thank you very much. Thank you very much, it was a pleasure.